Also than ever, it's, uh, you're going to be, you're looking at a probably 5 to 7 percent growth in travel and tourism, probably 4 to 5 percent into the premium economy segment, which is a more affordable, more affordable segment, because it's being kind of actually built, infrastructure exists, putting aside the developed countries in which it's growing very fast. The lifestyle growing at probably 12 to 15 percent, so three times premium and economy, and luxury probably two times, the 8 to 10 percent. So. It's more difficult, uh, it's more investment, it's more human capital, it's more experience driven. You can't fail, uh, but it's more rewarding. Uh, so brand value, f fulfilling, fulfillment, sorry. Uh, it's, and then, I, if I may say it, it was, or may use my own words, uh, this is probably the niche we can play being French rooted. The half of the luxury goods happen to be French uh, born. Americans don't play that much in that game, and nor do the Chinese. So that was a little niche in which Aco couldn't invade the market. So you want to be the, uh, the LVMH of hospitality? Uh, I wish one day I could even say that. Do I <laughs> dream of being? Yes. Can I be? I don't know. Can you be the Orient Express brand? Because I know that's one where you are opening three hotels by 25, two trains, super yachts. It's revolved about super yachts. Again, talk to some Middle East investors about super yachts as well. Is that the kind of product that you're trying to develop? Yeah, it's, it's going back to talking about the VMH, whether it is the Hermes Chanel and Kering. It's we made one mistake, one mistake in the hospitality space. We never thought about the history of a brand, the heritage of a brand. Uh, why? Because most of our brands have been created in the 1960s, except we own four brands over 100 years old, Pullman, Fairmont, Orient Express, and I forgot the last fourth one. <laughs> uh, and it's, it's fascinating. Art Express exists 140 years old, and Art Express is precisely the best of the best. It is high-end. It's not a product, it's a feeling, it's Guerlain, it's Mahogany, it's Lalique, uh, it's Agatha Christie. And that brand is exactly what people can wish for. As long as you deploy it smartly, uh, so you're going to have an art express in Venice, in Rome, in Istanbul, uh, where it's meant to be. Then we're doing the train that we found back, uh, was lost, missing in action since 1977, so 1906. And then we're creating the biggest ever luxurious sailboat ever built. And that's only 52 cabin, uh, and that's going to be in the water of Caribbeans and, and, uh, and probably in the Med. And that's never been done before. It's going to be the largest cabin, the best experience. It's going to be atrociously expensive and hopefully worth it.